Here is the number one reason why your images aren't getting you client bookings or the love you think they deserve on Instagram. It's not your kit, it's not the algorithm, it's the stories that you are trying to tell. I was the same. Like so many other photographers, I didn't really understand what story meant. I just kept glossing over it, spending money on new kit to try and make me the photographer that I wanted to be ultimately leading me down the wrong path. It wasn't until I started focusing on the story of my images, and that's when I started getting booked by global brands who would fly me all around the world to capture their story. And so that we're on the same page, stories are moments that create an emotional response with our viewer and trigger their imagination. And thankfully, there are three practices that we can do that are going to transform our ability to tell stories. We've got our ability to notice stories, our ability to build stories, and our ability to anticipate stories. And what better conditions to go and practice our, our skills than in grey, overcast London. The goal today is not to take a banger photo, it's to work our minds and to get better as a photographer. Let's go. The difference between great and average photographers is their ability to notice stories. And it sounds so woo-woo, but we've got to open up our awareness to start seeing more in order for us to notice these stories. And there are two fun ways that we can do this. We've got a color walk and we've got triggers. So what color are we gonna go for? Yellow. Yellow? Nice. Let's go. This guy, yellow tape measure. Let's get in there. We've got some yellow tights as well. Is, it, is this yellow? Can you say this is yellow? This can count. Yellow jacket and yellow stairs. Yellow lights. Kid coming around has got yellow on his jacket. It makes you realize how many things are yellow, literally. Absolutely everywhere you look. When previously you'd be like, nah. No, it's yellow. I hope them auto focus is <laughs> actually working because I haven't checked a single thing. Normally, in these sort of grey environments, I always shoot in black and white because it simplifies things and makes it easier, right? And so, shooting in colour uh, is a bit more of a challenge, really, but it's part of the process, it's part of the fun. It's about being a better photographer, yellow. Nice. Once you've opened up your awareness, you can start combining things, make things interesting, start to tell stories and start to notice things. Now that we have warmed up our brains to start seeing yellow things as photo opportunities that we wouldn't have necessarily considered beforehand, we can now start to think about triggers. And these are subjects or just things that prompt us to take photos. And this can be anything from hats, from gestures such as pointing, or even our favorite, dogs. An easy way for us to work out what our triggers are is to go back through your photos and to look and see whether there's any common themes in things that you like to photograph. Now that we have improved our ability to notice, we've now got to think about how do we build stories? Because great stories aren't discovered, they are built. And so what do I mean by that? A great photographer will find an interesting subject and will consider what else within the environment it can have an interaction with that makes the image more impactful. And so to practice, let's start static. Now that we've found something static in our environment, like a big pair of eyes, it's so important to start considering what stories can we tell? How can we get this to interact with the subject? So it could be that the eyes are directing our viewers' attention to something extraordinary, or even highlighting how oblivious someone is to something else that's going on. Or maybe even someone walking past, rubbing their eye, taking off their glasses, something along those lines. We don't do sponsorships because we believe you can only recommend products that are going to genuinely make you a better photographer, which is why we built Street Tools, an essential field guide to capturing beauty anywhere. And depending on when you're watching this, it is either out or about to be out, so check it out in the description. Now it's time to practice our third skill, the ability to anticipate and to predict a potential story. 
So we're going to be on the hunt for some hopefully cool subjects. We're going to work for seeing, trying to see whether we can get them to have any cool interactions and maybe take some some Kumsikumsa photos. We've got flower, we've got two flowers. We've got purple jacket over there, purple hat. Nothing interesting is happening. Dad, daughter over here. Nothing's interesting. <laughs> Gotta try harder. There are interesting things, we're just not being interested enough. This is what I'm gonna tell myself. Elvis. Trying to work out the composition for Elvis to walk into. Maybe if he walks into this circle. Where's he going? So he dresses Elvis. I'll always be in the light. <laughs> I think we got Elvis and her. <laughs> but that was the weirdest thing that could have happened. Subscribe for more storytelling tips.